E aí pessoas, beleza? Estou aqui gravando mais um vídeo de Life is Strange E antes de estar tá começando o vídeo, eu queria agradecer muito ao canal A página do Facebook, canal de Youtube e, e páginas de internet também Ao casal Beats Que, que são um, um casal, lógico, né? Que eles fizeram a tradução do quarto episódio do Life is Strange Porque como agora, nesses, nesses dias aí os, os, As páginas oficiais né, de traduções, tipo Tribu Gamer Entre outras coisas No caso é só Tribu Gamer, né? Porque o resto é sempre... Ou são grupos pequenos, ou são um casal, no caso, né? Do, do casal Beats mas, tipo, a Tribo Gamer, que é, tipo, a fonte oficial do Brasil, assim, de traduções, praticamente. Tipo, eles pararam quase um mês já. Provavelmente, talvez seja por causa de julho, né, que se... as férias, o pessoal tava querendo descansar. Mas, enfim. Bom, queria agradecer muito o Casal Beats por ter feito a tradução do quarto episódio do Life is Strange. Mano... Realmente, muito obrigado aí. Se fosse depender, tipo, da Tribo Gamer ou de outras. de outros sites, ia demorar muito. Porque, tipo, o episódio 3 nem saiu na Tribo Gamer e o outro lugar lá que eu tinha pego, a Divinity PT, eles só traduziram, tipo, a história. A história. Eles não traduziram, tipo, foi quase completa a tradução. Pouquíssimas coisas não foram não foram traduzidas, né? Mas enfim, bom, então vamos estar tá aqui então continuando nossa história. Bora lá iniciar o episódio 4. Epi quarto escuro. Bora. On Life is Strange. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor!
It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Beleza, pegamos aqui o controle do personagem Da personagem do caso Vamos lá, a gente tem que pegar a água, né? Vamos, antes de pegar a água, né? Vamos observar tudo em volta Uou, Chloe pode totalmente controlar o seu computador É tão legal que as pessoas têm essa ajuda de high-tech Eu deveria oferecer para colocar a roupa para a Chloe Não que eu possa, mas seria... That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Ó, oh, que tá traduzido. Lá no, na tradução do episódio 3 não chegaram a traduzir essas partes assim de que tá quando você vai observar algum objeto, aí tem tipo para você ler o que tá escrito nele. Clube Ático Preto, somente maior de 21 anos, calendário outubro de 2013. Sexta-feira, 11, banda tributo ao Black, aos Black Flag. Sábado, 12, Dorothy Twisters. Quarta-feira, tá. Não é muito interessante isso, né? That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Mas essas coisas assim de e-mail que são mais interessantes. Assim, tipo, que adicionam realmente alguma coisa pra história. Bem-vindo à sala de bate-papo. Handbot, para a sua alegria, não dê informações pessoais, tá? Já quem já, né, é óbvio. Então, o que você está fazendo? Conversando com você. Ah, vá, não me diga. Estou assistindo sobre computador de Quantum Leap. Meu Deus, amo. Regras do Scott Bakula. Eu também, espero que possamos nos encontrar em breve. Mas se você estiver em São Francisco... Ei, eu tenho que cuidar de algumas coisas físicas. Volto depois que você terminar de ver Bakula. Você é a melhor. Olá? What? <risos> tá bom então, né? Cada coisa que acontece. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. So cool to hear. Bad. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, você sabe que nós te amamos e que você está em nossos corações e pensamentos. Nós esperamos ver seu rosto sorridente em breve. Por favor, fique bem. Ryan Vanessa Caulfield. Ah. Pensando em você. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Pensando em você, querida Chloe, eu sinto muito pelo que aconteceu. Saiba que eu estou aqui para você. Se você precisar de alguma coisa, eu se você precisar de alguma coisa, eu espero que você melhore e espero vê-la novamente. Beijos e abraços, Mega. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, apenas pensei em te enviar uma mensagem rápida para que você saiba que eu estou pensando em você. Me sinto tão dieta, dieta não, idiota, não é, não tem dieta nenhuma aqui. Eu me sinto tão idiota em escrever coisas tipo Eu espero que você esteja bem, etc Eu sei que sua vida está tão diferente agora E eu não quero que isso atrapalhe nossa amizade Sim, eu não estive muito presente Mas isso mudará em breve Eu espero que você esteja bem Amor, Max Max At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe I'm sure that made her feel great <risos> Esse desenho dela I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair é, como eu tinha dito no vídeo no, no episódio passado que era culpa do, do carro que ela tá assim. Mano, exatamente como eu tinha previsto, tipo, se não tivesse o carro, ela não estaria desse jeito. Oh, snow I guess not everything changed. Hello Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. 
Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Tá, vamos pegar água, né? Olhar pro copo. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> It's been a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Bom, a gente tem que colocar... A gente tem que procurar agora. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. There's the old Chloe. Então isso aqui a gente já viu tudo. Tá, vamos atrás do DVD, né? Temos que procurar o DVD ou a... No caso, seria DVD mesmo. Ah, here's the DVD. Pronto. Achamos. Mas vamos ver, né? Vamos ser curiosos oh ver o que tem. Eu fiz esse mix para ela quando nós éramos 12. 
Poder aos piratas. Ou poder pirata, né? Também poderia ser. Tanto faz. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Tá acho que não tem mais. Tá, tem uma gaveta aqui para olhar. Vamos ver. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Avisa apenas para skatistas. Tree flip ou queda. Alerta para posers. Nova novas leis de anti skatistas. Wowzer. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Ai, tirou a... Nossa, tirou a em tudo. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Meu Deus, quanta coisa. Academia Blackwell, dia 8 de agosto de 2011. Prezado senhor e senhora Price. Como diretor, me simpatizo com seus números pedi inúmeros pedidos para necessidades especiais da Chloe, em relação à sua acessibilidade da cadeira de rodas e da classe, etc. Blackwell orgulha-se de certificar-se de alunos com deficiência, recebem total conformidade sob a lei americana com deficiência. No entanto, dado aqueles que Dado que o campus e edifícios foram construídos antes de 1977, nossa escola ainda não sofreu as modernas renovações necessárias para satisfazer todas as necessidades de sua filha e sua condição lamentável. Infelizmente, com cortes federais, cortes federais deploráveis, receitas e em educação, levará muito tempo para a captação de recursos para atualizar totalmente a Academia Blackwell. Mas esse dia vai chegar. Chloe é, sem dúvida, uma Luana incrível e com grande potencial. Apesar da sua deficiência, eu acredito que ela iria encontrar o um ambiente escolar mais adequado no Instituto de Miskatonic H. West, com Bol em Bolton. Eles, eles têm um rico legado em graduados com deficiência, e eu sei que Chloe alcançaria a liderança acadêmica habitual em ambientes mais confortáveis. Com sua experiência GPA, não há dúvida que Miss, Miss Catonic acolheria a Chloe com, board, com as portas abertas. Espero que considere. Que, com, que você considerare. Nossa, tá errado aí. Espero que você considere seriamente esta sugestão. Como tenho certeza de que sua filha prefere frequentar uma escola que pode atender às suas necessidades. No mesmo espírito, também enviei folheto para outros potenciais. Para outras potenciais escolas da região de Oregon. Se você tiver alguma dúvida, entre em contato com o meu escritório. Atendencio... Atenciosamente, diretor Wells. Acho que é isso, né? Caraca, velho. Ela ia entrar na Blackwell, só que acabou que não vai dar porque os caras não têm suporte para deficientes. Sacanagem. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. 
No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Beleza. Bom, antes de estar tá continuando aqui, eu vou estar tá finalizando o vídeo por aqui já, porque já tem muito tempo de vídeo já. Bom, então eu vou estar tá finalizando o vídeo por aqui já. Então, pessoas, se vocês gostaram do vídeo, né? Clique em gostei dos seus favoritos, compartilhe em suas redes sociais para ajudar na divulgação do canal C30 Tals. É, deixa o um comentário abaixo também se der e se inscreva no canal também. Bom, então, pessoas, até a próxima. Falou! Unless he's in a girl and girl action. You're such a dork.